especially in Deathover also, uh, the guys again in stepped up, uh, he bowled beautifully. So uh, I think uh, as a, a bowling unit we did a decent job. Great efforts from the fielders as well, a couple of run outs, yourself taking a really good catch off your own bowling, that's the kind of standards you'd like. You've had a bit of a slow start to some of your fielding performances and you got better and better throughout each innings. Yeah, uh, I think uh, we didn't start it uh, well, but uh, initially uh, one, two, three good, uh, one good runner from uh, Dora and then everyone tipped in. So uh, as a fielding unit we are improving day by day, so we are going to continue this throughout the tournament. It's hard to get across the batting talent that you possess. Crucial Bertel was outstanding at the top pass and shape played his role as he always does. And then Crucial Mala, can you find any other to describe that? I think uh, as a batting unit, they're doing a good job, uh, especially uh, with the opening partnership they're giving. Crucial uh, Bertel and Asif Sikh, they're doing a great job for us. Uh, and uh, especially the way Crucial uh, uh, Mala batted today, I think it was exceptional. Uh, so yeah, we want to continue this. What about the atmosphere? You are now guaranteed through to the semi-finals. The fans, I thought they played a huge role, particularly in that, in that first half. They, they almost dragged you back into the contest, put the pressure onto Malaysia. Absolutely, they are, they are supporting us uh, throughout the game, and they, uh, in hard times they have been supporting us. So yeah, we, we want them uh, in uh, one game and same final also. So yeah, we, we want to be uh, just backing our process right, and yeah, playing good cricket. Two from two, whatever happens on Thursday, you will be in that semi-final on Friday. You'll have a, a one-off chance to get back to the World Cup. But how important is Thursday to try and top the group and, and get what could, in theory, be a slightly easier semi-final? Absolutely, we want to win every game, uh, regardless of uh, who comes in semi-final. Uh, we want to win every game. Uh, if we uh, win the uh, Thursday game, we'll uh, top the group and uh, it will be easier for us. But we'll take every game as a final for us. Yeah, we'll continue to the tournament. Two games, two wins. Very well done. We'll see you Thursday. Thank you. Okay, it's the captain of Nepal, a very happy year old title. Now, the great news is we've got lots of awards to give out. And we're going to start with the legend of the game here in Nepal, the first ever man to make a century in Nepal colours, if I remember correctly. So great to see you, Raju. Okay, the Fuman do deliver the game. The winner will receive a cheque for 10,000 rupees. He was outstanding with the ball today. He picked up four for 27. And it was the final delivery of the first innings that wins this prize. A leg stump Yorker that knocked the stumps out of the ground. It goes to Abhinesh Bahara. So Abhinesh will come up to receive his award from Mr. Raju Kapka. And we'll pose for a quick photo as well. Brilliant stuff, Abhinesh. 10,000 rupees into the kitty. Our thanks to every one of the sponsors who continue to get involved. Thanks so much. Okay, our next award is for the Lifebuoy Safest Cans of the Match. That's going to be presented by Mr. Dawakar Gale, who's a can committee member. And if I could ask Dawakar to come up and join me. Nice to see you, my friend. How are you? Namaste. Okay, the winner of this award had to go to a Nepali with that outstanding fielding effort, no surprise with that. It was a diving effort, he sprinted in from long off, he may have lost his footing, but he had those life boys safe hands. It goes to Kushal Bertel. So Kushal Bertel is going to get a check for 10,000 rupees as well. The life boys safe hands, catch of the match, a stunner. That long off, a very important one too. Okay, we've got a new award today that we didn't have yesterday. This comes from the CEO of Rupsi Holidays, who's going to come up and present this for me, Mr. Ramesh Parajuli. Nice to see you, Ramesh, how are you? And this is the Rupsi longest traveled hit of the match. We saw some massive sixes, and the winner of this award, he hit seven of them. I think the one that's won it ended up going over that building there. Rumor is it still may be traveling. It goes to the one, the only, Kushal Mala. <laughs> so Kushal Mala is going to get his award from Mr. Ramesh Parajuli. That's a check for 15,000 rupees, that one. The longest travelled hit of the match from Rupsi Holidays. Thank you so much, that's great, yeah. Okay, we've got one more award before we get to the primary award, which is the Player of the Match Award. That is the Dimag Parab Shot of the Match. That's going to be presented by Mr. Rana Bikram Kandel, who's the Chairman of Cinema Arts. If you come, please, sir. Nice to see you again. Looking forward to this movie when it comes out. A lot of anticipation coming up for that. Okay, well, I think we're going to see a few more awards for this youngster. He's 19 years of age. He's got the highest strike rate in the history of T20i cricket. It's over 180. It goes again to Kushal Mala. <laughs> Kushal, you might need to get used to posing for a few photos there. Big smiles again for Kushal. 
Thanks so much, Reina. Thanks for your support. Much appreciated. Okay, time for the Dimag Parab Player of the Match, which will be presented by Miss Sukusa Bata, who's an actor. So she's going to come up, and she's going to be joined by Miss Letitia Kakari from the ICC, who's going to have the official Player of the Match trophy. Lovely to see you. Namaste to you. Okay, <coughs> we'll do this in 3 2 one order when we get Letitia up on stage with us. Letitia, nice to see you. Wonderful start to the tournament. So in 3 2 one order, this is always decided by the match officials. In third place today, give a round of applause for an outstanding bowling performance to Abanesh Bahara. In second place today, not yet, not yet. In second place today, Malaysia really played their part. It was an outstanding innings coming off 49 balls in second place. Round of applause please for Syed Aziz. But there really could be only one player of the match. They're going to win the trophy from the ICC. They're also going to win a check for 50,000 rupees, would you believe, from the Dimag Parab player of the match. He hit seven sixes, two fours. He faced 34 balls. He made 65. It goes, of course, to Kushal Mala. So Kushal's going to stand right in the middle there. Kushal in between the two ladies, please. Go into the middle. And you can get ready for the photo. Hold that out. Maybe turn it around there, Natisha. Perfect. Yep. Pose for a photo. Many congratulations, Kushal. Huh? Thank you, ladies. Great to see you. Kushal, don't go anywhere. On me. Yeah. Kushal, special day for you. How much did you enjoy that trip? What's it like out there when you, your natural game is to be very aggressive, but when you hit a six, the reaction from the crowd it must just feel like what, electricity running through your veins? Okay, finally, let me ask you about Friday. I know you want to win on Thursday against the man, but how big is that for you and the team, the chance to go to the final World Cup? It's a big opportunity for us. Okay, he's such a special young cricketer, isn't he? Kushal Malak. He's still 19 years of age and he speaks ever so well too. And